So before using any container image from any container repository, you want to scan those container images for vulnerabilities, even if it has 1 billion downloads. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Anais and these videos are centered around a challenge called 100 Days of Kubernetes. The challenge where we aim to learn something new related to Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem across 100 days. Now in this video, I want to introduce you to an open source cloud native tool called Trivi. Now what is Trivi? Trivi is a comprehensive scanner for vulnerabilities in container images, file systems and Git repositories. You can scan container images for vulnerabilities, but also infrastructure its code for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. So where does Trivi fit into our application lifecycle and uh, our application development? So let's assume we have four stages. The first one is prevent, then protect, detect, and respond. So prevent, before we use any resources, we want to prevent introducing unnecessary vulnerabilities into our existing resource into existing code and similar. So we can scan, for example, the container images that we're using or the infrastructure that we are gonna work with or um, the Git repositories that we're gonna build our application or that our application depends on and similar. Then protect and detect is basically protecting how do we protect our existing infrastructure and how do we detect any additional vulnerabilities that are introduced into our resources, into our infrastructure, into our application. And then if we, vulnerabilities are detected, how do we respond to them? And Trivi really fits into the entire spectrum of we can scan our container images, we can scan our infrastructure, we can integrate it into our continuous integration, continuous deli deli delivery pipelines. And then it tells us, it gives us suggestions on how we can respond to detected vulnerabilities. Now, if you go to Aqua Security slash Trivi, you can find the Trivi repository with an overview of what Trivi is. So you can scan container images, file systems, get repositories for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. You can find two quick demos on scanning container images for vulnerabilities, as well as your infrastructure's code files. And then you can find a quick getting started guide on scanning your different file systems or container images. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check out the documentation. So this is the Trivi documentation. As you can see, it's right now heavily based on the readme file we are heading over to the getting started guide to find our installation options now in my case i used homebrew so how can you get started with trivi first of all once you have trivi installed you want to run trivi or like any other tool that you're using help and that will give you the options that you can use now in this video i'm going to show you how to use trivi image trivi repository trivi config and trivi file system so first of all I have here this repository that you're all so familiar with called React Article Display. You already know what it is, right? I've used it in so many videos and it has a Docker file. Now this Docker file specifies how this container should be built, right? And how it should run. It tries to kind of implement Docker best practices, Docker file building best practices, as it has two steps, two separate steps, the multi-step Docker file. And we're trying to, to do our best here by specifying the version of our container image and not using the latest tag. Those are some things you really want to do. However, if we are looking at the Docker Hub repository where this image is taken from, we can see that the node image that we're using here is already a bit outdated. It's currently at 17 alpine something, 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 right? So before using any container image, from any container repository, you want to scan those container images for vulnerabilities, even if it has 1 billion downloads, okay? Even then, even if it's a node image that everybody uses, you still want to scan it. Now, I want to show you how many vulnerabilities are in this container image. So we're gonna copy that container image, go to our repository, and now we can say Trivi image, and we provide the image tag, an image name, and we're going to scan it. Now, as you can see, <laughs> this gave us a long, long, long list of vulnerabilities, of known vulnerabilities, and also fixed vulnerabilities. So that means we should probably not use this container image anymore. We can also check the next one. So I want to use now 17 Alpine, that container image, right? As you can see, it has 
two medium vulnerabilities that I identified here. Now, I want to know whether those vulnerabilities are fixed in other versions or whether they're already fixes out there, right? To the image, image help some. We want to use ignore unfixed. So we only want to list the vulnerabilities that have already been fixed, right? So we're gonna take ignore unfixed and then put that over here before our image tag an image name. And now we can see all of the vulnerabilities that already have a fix out there, but it has, hasn't been implemented yet. And now I've checked all of the other container images, like the newer ones, a little bit newer ones on the node repository, and they all have the same vulnerabilities in it. So I don't really have much of an option, but to keep using this, if I want to keep using the node image from the node repository, right? Um, so <laughs> I'm going to keep using that. But basically we now know that this image, the 17 something has far less vulnerabilities than the other one, than the 14 something. So we're going to change this to 17 Alpine. And this is basically something you can do to incrementally improve your infrastructure resources, such as your Docker file. Now, before you use any Git repository, you want to scan also the Git repository for vulnerabilities. That's what we're going to do now. So you can just do it with Trivi and then repo, like repository, scan, and you just paste the link to the repository and it tells you the vulnerabilities in that repository. Now, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of <laughs> vulnerabilities as well in that repository that I have to update. So we can see four low, 25 medium, and 23 high ones. Now, I've updated in the fixed branch <laughs> and I'm going to push that, but ultimately you want to do that on a regular basis. Also, before you use other people's resources, it's very important to do that. Now, in this repository, you can see that we have a manifest folder. And this manifest folder has two files, a deployment YAML file and a service YAML file. Now, we can scan those as well. So we can say, trivi and then config manifests and this will ultimately scan all of the manifests resources within that directory now with trivi config we can also scan entire uh, repositories so for example in this repository the terraform helm example from my github account uh, we can scan the terraform files with trivi config and just the current directory and as you can see here terraform security check um, what is it? Let's make this more readable, right? So variables, variable C the token includes a potentially sensitive default value. So it's telling me uh, not only vulnerabilities, but also misconfigurations. For example, I should be careful providing something like a token into a repository. So as you can see, using a scanning tool such as Trivi doesn't only allow you to scan other people's resources for vulnerabilities, but also scan your own resources for vulnerabilities and improve those resources, right? Now, the last example I want to show you in this video is using Trivi file system to scan your file system. So for example, your, uh, and those are language specific. So for example, I'm here in the observe Argo rollout repository. And as you can see, there are lots and lots of different um, <laughs> files and repositories and so on. Now we have here a repository called app. So within app, we have a bunch of different resources and lots of them are Go related. So this app is written in Go. We want to scan it for vulnerabilities that we could fix within our Go application, right? So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and run Trivi uh, file system. And then we're going to scan the app or in this case, the current directory, since we're already in app. And as you can see, these are the vulnerabilities. We are high, one medium vulnerability and five unknown that are found within that Go application. Now, as you can see, when you run Trivi help, 
There are lots and lots of different options that you can use. Also within each of those commands, there are further options how you can customize those commands. Uh, you can use Trivi within your CI CD pipelines. There are lots of examples on the Trivi documentation. Please let me know if you have any questions. And in the meantime, to get started, check out the Agro Security open source uh, Katakoda account. And you can find the Trivi Katakoda example right here and get started really quickly just to explore how does Trivi work? How can you make the best out of it? Now, I really hope this video was useful. If it was and you want to make sure that other people see it too, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. You can get started with Trivi right away in seconds, either through the Katakoda example or just installing Trivi locally on your machine and getting started and trying out scanning of your container images, of your file systems, of your good repositories. I hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.